Lisa eats stuff. It's me. I'm back. I've got the box. It's, what month is this? July. Happy July. Let's see where we're going with this one. I had a few people try to guess where it's from. I forget. I even took a guess or two, but I don't even remember what I, what I picked. So let's just look and see. Let's just get right to the action, right? Let's see what's in here. Every month they tape it or don't tape it differently, so I can't even open it. Okay, here we go. All right, this is it. This is our July subscription box to Universal Yums. And the country is Indonesia. Oh, all right. I don't know what that means or what that brings to us. We've got our scorecard. We've got some words that I can't pronounce just like every month. I'm not even going to bother trying because no one wants to hear what I have to say or what I can't say. All right. So I hope everybody's ready for this one. I don't know how everybody feels about these boxes. Are you loving them? Are you hating them? They're okay. Um, I think I started January, so maybe once we get through the whole year, maybe I'll find something else I can subscribe to and we can do. Maybe not necessarily. Uh, the cat is moving this thing here. But uh, something else I could subscribe to and we could kind of do together. That's the mayor. Mayor Goldie Wilson. He used to sleep up here all the time. And then for some reason, he never came up here anymore. But now he's back. So... Johnny's usually a little more camera shy. All right, let's see what Indonesia has to offer us this month. Uh, Indonesia, ready for a veritable explosion of flavor? Again, we'll see because they always talk about how exciting and flavorful and woo everything is and I always find it pretty bland. So hopefully it, it will be an explosion of flavor. This month, we're heading to Indonesia, located in the Pacific Ring of Fire. But don't let that name and the 128 active volcanoes scare you off. The volcanic soil allows for some of the most interesting plant life in the world, including one-of-a-kind coffee and fruit flavors that you're about to discover. Ooh, I like coffee. What are you gonna do, get in the box? All right, I guess the mayor is done here. All right, let's see, right now in Indonesia. Indonesia is home to the most Muslims in the entire world. Hmm, I would have never guessed that. Uh, which means that the Hijri, Hijri New Year in July is a pretty big deal. The holiday celebrates the founding of Islam and commemorates the migration of the Prophet Muhammad from Mecca to Medina. Ring in the new uh, okay, ring in the new year by praying for peace, telling stories from the Quran, dancing in the Obor torch parade. All right. We'll see, we got our trivia train, which I haven't even really been doing, and apparently no one cares because no one asked me to do it. All right, let's hop to it. Here's our little stickers about all, you know, for all the different uh, snacks and treats that you can put on your little um, report card. All right, first one. Here we go. Chitato. Fried noodle flavored I guess, oh, potato chips. All right, again, doesn't seem like it's bursting with any kind of flavors, but I'm, I'm happy to be bad. Fried noodles and potato chips all in one. Let's taste and see. Chitato. Mmm, 
So I'm down here in Florida, as most of you know, it's a billion degrees, literally every day. I mean, I'm talking, woo, I am talking like, feels like temps every day, like 110, 112, 108, real temps, 98, literally every day. It's July, then we have all of August, we have September, now we go into October, so it's really hot. But I'd much rather be really hot than really cold, so I won't complain, at least not right now. All right, here we go. This, uh, when you first open it, it had quite a powerful uh, pungent punch to it. Roseland, New Jersey, again. Indonesia of Jersey. Mmm. Tastes like, mmm, it's got a, ooh. Got a little bit of a spice. I mean, tiny bit, but. Fried noodles. Mm-hmm. It's reminding me of something, as most of these things do, but I can't think of what. I don't know. Soup? Something noodly, something like Lomani or something. That reminds me of Se that Seinfeld episode, the gum. My favorite episode. One of the friends brings gum to them and he's like chewing it and they're all like, he's like, try the gum, try the gum. Actually, it might even be from Indonesia or China. One of the, anyway, but he's, he's like, hmm. Jerry's like chewing it and he's like, it's a little Lomani. Now I have to look and see if it was uh, Indonesia where the gum is from. That's a great episode. Definitely, I mean, every episode's amazing, but that is my probably number one episode. All right, again, chips, all right. Not the greatest, not the worst, not really exciting, but different. All right, let's see what we got here. Vanilla layer cake, pandan cake, with cream filling. Okay, there we go. Panando. Pandan. Pandan vanilla layer cake. It feels very soft. Let's see how it is. All right here. Mm, smells vanilla-y, which I like but again, it's not really exciting, the vanilla. But it smells good. Let me get it out of here. Okay, it's like a little, kind of like a sponge cake. It's crumbly, as you can see. Soft, like a sponge. It's like a, yeah, like a dish sponge. Green, I don't know why, because it's vanilla. I say vanilla, but it's really vanilla. That's why whenever I say vanilla, I always say it weird because I'm always like emphasizing the vanilla part because I know that's the right way to say it, but I say vanilla. So whenever I do say vanilla, I always make it into some weird spectacle because it feels weird for me to say vanilla, but I know it's just like coupon and coupon. I've always said coupon my whole life. Then a lot of people say coupon. So then I'm like, well, is one right, one wrong? I don't know, but I say coupon now I've start saying coupon because a lot of people do say it but when i say it i always say coupon like like there's something weird about it but it's just because i'm trying to say a word different than normally do. who cares eat the cake lisa okay i will mm. very soft very it's dry it's vanilla-y, vanilla-y, vanilla, vanilla. I've got like a layer of cream in the middle. Super sweet, whoa, super sweet. It's good, it's all right. I don't know, what would I compare it to? Hmm. Mm, I don't really know. I think that those cake, those cookies at Walmart now that they're always like, 
right like out front and they're always different colors and they're round but like thick but they're super soft and they have that icing on top and a lot of times they have sprinkles every holiday or whatever they have like the fourth of july red white and blue ones they've got the christmas and all that they're super super sweet but i love them they taste fake like chemically or whatever but i love them but super sweet it kind of feels like the texture of those so if you know what i'm talking about those are not like a brand they're not like you know nabisco or something like, i guess they're just walmart cookies in like those clear things that are super hard to open and are really loud when you're trying to sneak a cookie out they like make super loud noise they're like those if you know what i'm talking about mention it down below if you don't go to walmart and go by like the produce section or something they're usually like in the middle aisle around there or something okay shut up again lisa yogurt gummy melon and peach flavor yuppie 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 Okay, not again, not big on yogurt, but it says gummy, so I don't know how that works. But I love melon and I love anything peach. So I'll give it a try. Bottled gummies, melon and peach yogurt. All right, let's see what we got here. It has its own little tear thing, which is nice too. Mm, smells like peach. All right, is it one big giant one? No, oh, they're like the little, uh, like little Coke bottle ones. Yeah, we got these from another place too, but I think they're actually were Coke flavor, but this will be good because I like melon and I like peach. Mmm, mm-hmm. Very soft, super soft, but in a good way, smooth. Mmm, I like them. Again, they taste like any other gummy pretty much you can get anywhere. So I'm not blown away by any amazingly different thing, but they are good and they are peachy and melony and they're soft and chewy. I like them. Okay. Mmm, all right. That's three. Looks like there's three more in here. Today I'm wearing my Loves Animals Tolerates People shirt. That's actually being generous by just saying tolerates people because whoo, people can be pretty annoying. So we'll just go with the Loves Animals. And I guess, I don't even know if I tolerate people. Maybe when I bought it, I kind of tolerated them, but I can barely even tolerate them now. All right, what is this thing? Deca wafer roll jumbo cheesy durian. Durian. I don't know what these words are, what they mean, but we'll take, we'll give it a try. It feels like those, uh, probably going to be similar to those pirouette cookie things. They're like a wafer rolled up with the I think they have like chocolate, like a hazelnut nut, chocolatey kind of filling inside, except these are not sweet if it's cheese. So it's a savory snack. All right, let's see what we got here. Mm-hmm. Oh, it broke. Mm, the smell is not uh, too exciting. Kind of hollowish with i guess some kind of cheese inside mm. Blah. wow that's weird super it is sweet so i don't know what is going on here Ugh. I almost spit it out. Speaking of spitting it out, I'll show you my mug in a second, but I was not expecting that at all. So the wafer is super thin and delicate and crispy like. I don't know what's Yeah. I don't know what's cheesy about it, what the cheese part is. I don't know what it's filled with. 
but I do not like it. And I'm not even going to take another bite to confirm that I don't like it because I had all the confirmation I need. But it is light and airy and hollowish and has some kind of creamy, that whatever's inside it, I guess, I don't even know which part is sweet, the outside or the inside, but the inside is like a, I guess similar to like the Oreo cream filling. It's like a cream filling like that, but it's, I don't know, it's cheese, but it's sweet, but it's, yeah. I guess when we look in the book for the description, it'll tell us exactly what it is. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it, but I didn't have to spit it out. I want it to, but I didn't have to. So today's spit mug is... Check out this mug, it's so cute. Look inside, that's my favorite part of it. So I've had this mug since I was a teenager, like before, obviously I got married because I was a teenager, but um, I'm 99% sure I got it at, I guess it was Caldor at that point in West Patterson, Caldor. First it was Great Eastern, then it was Valley Fair. Oh, maybe I think it was Valley Fair. It was Valley Fair. Then it became Caldor and then it became the Pathmark. But first it was Great Eastern. We used to go there when I was a kid with my mother. And I think I told this story maybe, but when my father worked four to 12. We used to go to Great Eastern and they had a little shack outside where you could get hot dogs with mustard and kraut and mm, sabrettes. Mm, and that was like a special treat. So we would go there and get that. So anyway, it became all these other stores. But yeah, this was Valley Fair. I'm 99% sure. But I loved this. Again, I was a teenager. I didn't drink coffee, but I think I, I guess I drank tea back then with milk in it and sugar. And I loved this. And then I started working at Contact Electronics in um, Fairfield at, right out of high school. And I remember taking this mug with me to work because, you know, they felt like an adult and you had your own mug and... And then I got married and I had it and we've moved 11 times, but I cannot get rid of this mug because I love it. And now because I've had it so long, it became a thing of like, well, now I can't get rid of it. I've had it this long. So somebody's going to get it in their will when I die. I guess the boys will have to fight over it one day as I drop it and break it. Anyway, that's the spit mug. I kind of wanted to spit that in there, but I didn't. So let's move on. Let's say this looks like it has chocolate and perhaps coconut or something salty on top. I don't know. This is Kalpa. Oh yeah, I see the coconut on the, on the package. So this, this might be a spitter too. I don't see. Wafer Cocolat Kalapa. Don't know what that means. Don't see anything in English that explains it. So I'll just have to open it up and taste it. While I'm opening it, speaking of these shirts, or the shirts, like every month I usually have some kind of shirt on. Is it just me or can you not ever order a shirt online or anywhere because sizing is off the charts, out of control, ridiculously, the spectrum is insane i no lie i have extra small shirts i have small i have medium i have large i have extra large i don't think i've crossed into any 2x shirts so far but every shirt i buy is a different size and i have shirts that are like extra large that are like skin tight on me i have i think this is small and it's baggy if I order or if I go to Old Navy, I have to have extra small and sometimes that's even too big. What is up with that? Like, should there not be some universal size that like you can say, hey, like people are like, oh, what size pants do you wear? What size shirt do you wear? I'm like, mm, I don't know. They're like, what do you mean you don't know? I'm like, well, so I have, again, I have from extra small up to extra large and they all fit me in every odd way. Some are stretchy, some aren't. Some are, some like, sometimes I get a shirt that's like a large and it has no give to it at, at all and I can't even like get my arm through it because I, it's way too tight. And then again, I have shirts that are like just hanging on me, just huge and they're a small. 
So why? Pants too. Like I have pants that are size two, four, six, eight, nine, 10, 11. So then they have the odd numbers, the even numbers. It's like, what size pants do you wear? I'm like, uh, I don't know. How do you not know? Because I wear every size apparently. And I don't like it because I see a lot of cool shirts and stuff online or but I'm scrolling through Facebook and I'm like, I want that, but I won't order it because I don't know what size to get. Actually, I just ordered some things. I was so cheap. I just got a small and a medium because I was like, two of them was basically the price of one. So hopefully one of them would fit. Anyway, let's go back to this coconutty thing. I guess I was kind of delaying opening it, op opening it because I don't like coconut. But I have this and I have one more after this. So let's see. Let's see what we've got here. Hmm, it's got a nice, comes on a little uh, slider thingy here. Smells very coconutty, so I'm sure I won't like it, but I'm guessing it has chocolate. I don't know, I can see here that it's one of those like wafer cookie kind of things. So I'm gonna go for it. I guess it's just, yeah, it looks like a vanilla, maybe the cream inside is coconut too, I don't know. I know some of you are dying for me to spit something out. So maybe I'll just spit something out for fun. Mm. It's just one of those wafer cookie things. I guess, I'm guessing it might even just be vanilla, vanilla inside with just chocolate and coconut. Boring and coconutty. Chocolate, because I like chocolate, that's probably the, the saving grace of it, but boring is all boring can be. I guess I should probably stop tagging like universal yums on my posts because I'm typically not ever saying anything good. But it's real and it's, it's reality. If they want real true reviews from people, then they should be accepting this. All right. All right. The final one. And thankfully, I don't think it's chocolate, but it's coffee. Yes, I say coffee because I'm from Jersey. My cat is knocking over this thing here. That's John Rayburn. Uh, yes, not coffee, not co I don't know, coffee. People always say I say coffee, but I don't say coffee. I say coffee, coffee, short, darty, coffee, coffee, not coffee. Anyway, it's coffee joy and I'm going to eat it. Looks like, uh, I guess a biscuit. Let's see. Indulgent, irresistible coffee biscuit. So is it coffee flavor or is it a coffee biscuit because you eat it with coffee? That's a good question. Like tea biscuits. I learned fairly recently that a tea biscuit is called a tea biscuit, not because you eat it with tea, but because they are, they're made with tea. There's tea in them. So it's a tea biscuit because there's tea in it, not because it's to be eaten with tea. Although you could eat them with tea. So maybe this is just a coffee biscuit because you eat it with coffee. Maybe not. Mm, kind of smells a little coffee coffee oh yes it does smell like coffee when i was little my grandmother always had coffee candies which i don't know why i liked because i didn't like coffee when i was little although i guess it tasted more like coffee with like cream and sugar in it but those were good they were probably like brocks or something like when you go to like Shoprite or the amp and they have whatever supermarkets in your area and they had those bins and you could just get it you know mix and match all your candy mmm smells just like those oh there's a lot in here too very thin very light and crispy looks like there's either sugar on them or salt I don't know now they're looks like it's broken here's a piece of one. Oh, very mmm Super thin, super delicate. Mm. Mm -hmm. Definitely tastes like coffee. 
All right, I'll have another one. Yeah, it tastes like those fluffy candies in a biscuity form with, again, like I said, I guess that's sugar on top. Super light and like uh, Frank and I always use this term. I probably have used it in the past on this where it's like, we call it sheshe. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, it's super light and flaky and if you know what I mean, you know what I mean, right? Sheshe. Mmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Definitely sheshe. I like those. Again, though, they're kind of, they're boring, really. They're good. They're not super exciting. But I could sit and eat a few. Uh, oh, yeah, it's Coffee Joy Italian moment. So why is Indonesia big on the Italian moment? Uh cookie slash biscuit. It's got the uh, little gondola, gondola, however you say that. All right. All right. Well, let's look at the book and see how they describe this stuff. Some stuff was all right. Hated that cheese long, whatever the heck that thing was. Pretty boring again. I'm waiting still, Universal Yums, for something to blow my mind. Even if I don't like it, I just want something that is so super bursting with a flavor I don't know, please. All right, fried noodle chips, sweet and spicy noodles in chip form. If there's one dish that's found everywhere from mom and pop shops to high-end restaurants, it's my gor goreng, one of Indonesia's most iconic stir-fried noodle dishes. While the dish originated with Chinese immigrants, locals have made it their own by adding fried shallots, sambal, chili paste, and sweet soy sauce for a taste that's quintessentially Indonesian. So it comes as no surprise that the flavor made its way out of the restaurants and into snack foods like instant noodles and these mind-blowing mi goreng potato chips that just so happened to be made by the country's top potato chip brand. Just one bite or two or three and you'll, instant, and you'll instantly understand what the hype is all about. I gave it probably two or three uh, bites. I don't, I didn't get the hype. All right, let's, that again, that was these. Yeah. All right, next one we're gonna explain. Oh, is this uh, vanilla vanilla cake thingy. The vanilla of the East, pandan cream cake. We know the first question you're thinking is, why is it green? I did say that, didn't I? Because we asked the same question. The color comes from the native pandan plant, which locals have enjoyed since ancient times. The leaves were once used to make everything from rope to medicine. But when a species called Pandanus amarilifolius on the Maluka Islands was found to have an especially pleasant aroma, locals started adding it to rice and meat. Nowadays, it's so essential in Indonesian cooking, it's earned the title, the vanilla of the East. So does that mean it's not even really vanilla? That's weird. It kind of had it. It's, it had a vanilla flavor. Maybe they put vanilla in it, but and then that's green is the vanilla of the east. I don't know. Okay. Again, it was eh, all right. What was next? The chocolate coconut wafer thing. That was this thing. All right. Chocolate wafer coated in young coconut. Ooh. Did you know that the Indonesians are positively nuts for coconut? And it's not surprising considering they produce more of them than any other country in the world. See all the fun and fascinating things that I am teaching you? You're welcome. Without me, you would not know these amazing things. You can use that uh, free of charge when you're uh, trivia, trivia, trivializing with your friends. Uh, let's see. 
We're talking 19 million tons in 2021 alone. We couldn't quite fit that much coconut into your box, but this chocolatey wafer is certainly worth that same weight and deliciousness. Crispy, chocolatey, and of course, decked out in shredded coconut. You'll want to eat a ton or two yourself. Nah, it's a vanilla wafer with some little light chocolate on the outside and coconut that I don't like. If you like coconut, okay, but again, nothing exotic, nothing crazy, nothing like, oh wow, I have to go to Indonesia now because it's the only place I can get this amazing flavor. All right, I'm going to save that cheese thing for last and see what that was all about. Let's see, the next is the sugar-coated coffee cookies. Coffee lovers, meet your new morning go-to. Did you know the word Java comes from Indonesia? I did not know that, say another fact for you. It refers to the country's central island, Java, where most of the world's coffee was grown during the 1700s. Today, Java is still renowned for its coffee, especially its Arabica, or, yeah, beans, cultivated during monsoon season and aged for over three years. The result is a more mellow, less acidic coffee. The inspiration behind the light coffee flavor of these extra thin sugar topped biscuits. The best part is that you won't need to wait three years to enjoy these cookies. All right, so like I said, those were, they were good. They were nice, they were light, they're like, she -she. Again, not super exciting, not uh, out of the ordinary. And now we move on to durian, durian and cheese wafer roll. Indonesia's most notorious fruit. Are you ready? We don't think you're ready. We certainly weren't. Oh, see, okay, so it wasn't me that, just me that made that bizarre face when I actually tasted this freaky thing. Let's see what they say. This unusual fruit doesn't have that sweet and refreshing taste that you might expect, and many compare it to stinky cheese. In fact, it's so smelly that some businesses will forbid customers from walking in with it. What do you think? Hop onto TikTok and tell us, let us see your reaction to trying this super special yum. It wasn't yum, it wasn't super special, I'm not on TikTok, and I don't recommend that thing. So, it was sweet though. It said it's not sweet. I mean, I guess it's, they're saying it's not sweet like your typical fruit kind of sweet. It was gross. It really was. Ugh, it has some kind of TikTok taste test little uh, logo on there too. So I guess that's something new they're doing with the universal yums. I... Oh, I forgot the melon, the melon gummies too, which we liked. Those I liked. All right. Something where we've noticed when tastes, oh, again, I always read so fast that I talk over my own words. Slow down. Something we've noticed when snacking around East Asia is that dairy products tend to be few and far between, but that's not the case in Indonesia where you can find them in all sorts of traditional preparations. There's danki cheese made from boiled buffalo milk, yogurty dadaya made from fermented buffalo milk, and tons of modern treats as well. These fruit gummies may not be like the traditional yogurts of old Indonesia, but they certainly represent their modern preferences and ours as well. I didn't get any kind of yogurty anything from that thing. It didn't wasn't creamy, it wasn't dairy-ish, it wasn't yogurty. It was like your typical fruit chew gummy that you can get here in America. So I don't know. I mean obviously they're making it with that, but it doesn't taste anything like it. All right. That's it. We're in the books. Indonesia. That my favorite, as I already said, was, I forgot now. Oh, did I pick a favorite? I guess it will be a tie between these two because I gotta, I can't pick which one, but these are two kind of typical, but they're peach. That's why they got a higher ranking, but I guess I'll pick these because there aren't that many of these uh, coffee biscuit kind of things around. So I'll make this my top one. 
We already know that this jumbo cheesy stinky feet thing is disgusting and we don't like that. So that was my worst. And I guess that's it. That's it. Another month flew by and now sit back and wait for August and see what that brings. Please give us something amazing. Tell me what you think. Leave me a comment. Ask me a question. Share it with your friends. Do whatever you want to do. Have a wonderful July. Keep cool. And I'll see you next month. Universal Yums. Do me something good. Bye, everybody. Here, let's go out with uh, Indonesia. Bye. Thanks for watching.